This video is going to show you how to make some headbands for hat day. Now I am going to start by drawing some kind of typical uh, superhero logos, two different ones to start. Now this one is going to be Naruto. I didn't have any circles in my uh, nearby area that was the right size, so I'm just kind of using this tape thing to help me make a circle. If you have something the right size, you could totally trace it. And I'm drawing this lightly because it's just going to be a guide. I'm going to erase part of this later. I'm going to start at the top right hand corner and I'm going to be going and pressing hard with my pencil this time and kind of following the circle around until I hit the right side of my paper. And then I'm going to go off the circle and kind of go in because I'm drawing a spiral. I'll erase that little extra part of the circle because it's done its purpose. Then I'll just continue that spiral in and stop right about there. Next step is to take and um, just add a little straight line on the top and then two straight lines that make kind of a V shape on the bottom. I didn't have a black marker but I did have a skinny sharpie so I'm gonna use this scarp sharpie to make these lines thicker and make this stand out a bit more before I start my next one which is the Superman sign. Now to start my Superman sign I'm gonna do three parallel lines on the top that are vertical and then three parallel lines below that that are also vertical. Now I can connect the first line on the top to the middle on the bottom and then the middle on the top to the far right one that's on the bottom. You can start to see the S is forming. I'm gonna do a V shape on the bottom and an upside down V on the top and finally just going to finish up these ends with a little diagonal line. And I'm just gonna use whatever colored materials I have available and add some blue and red to this Superman sign. The last one I'm gonna do is what I'm gonna make up just for me as if I am a superhero. So my last name is Lloyd Roselle, so I'm gonna be doing a block L and a block R and try to kind of make them look cool. And then I'll pick my own colors I'm trying to make this represent me, so that's why I picked my favorite color as the main part of this logo. And I'm even making it go s slowly dark to light because I really like how ombres look. Next, it's time to cut them out. So you can cut out around it so there's a little bit of white space, or if you wanna get really close, you can cut right on the edge of the marker or whatever supply you use to color it so that there's no white space available. Um, it's kind of your call. Or you can cut out some extra random stuff out of the white space, like a paintbrush, perhaps, just to make it fun. Uh, finally, I want to figure out what I want to make this headband out of. Uh, there's, I show you three different ones. You can use uh, paper and you know, glue it together, tape it together, uh, just to make it long enough for your head size. So I kind of measured it around my head. And then I am using some glue and tape to stick it together. I can also add some stripes on here or some other decorations of color. So I'm going to do, of course, the blue and the red since I'm putting this with my Superman sign. For my Naruto symbol, I found a black headband and I just got a stapler and stapled the edges. Um, so it's just an easy way to do it. For my original symbol, I grabbed a cardboard box and just cut it up and did the kind of the same thing, made sure it was the right size and added on more um, strips if it was not with whatever tool I can use to attach, staple, glue, whatever, and just kind of finished it up that way and I have all three finished. You can see me and my two fellow models showing off my finished products. Happy hat day!